A standard upper endoscopy as performed by gastroenterologists are done under sedation. So a patient would come into our endoscopy unit in the morning. They would not have had breakfast. They would have probably fasted overnight. They would be evaluated and undergo placement of a small intravenous line for medications. They would undergo medications to make them comfortable during the procedure. Um, many patients sleep during the procedure, but we don't typically use general anesthesia. We um, use either monitored anesthesia care or or what's called conscious sedation, where the patient is awake but comfortable, breathing on their own but sedated. And then when the patient is comfortable, a bite block is placed in their mouth and a small endoscope, typically about the size of my pinky finger with a small camera on the end, is placed into the mouth, passed into the esophagus. On a standard examination, we'll also evaluate the stomach and the first portion of the small intestine as well. Um, the doctor will take um, very good um, care to examine the end of the esophagus and the junction of the esophagus with the stomach where typically acid-related injury occurs and where Barrett's esophagus arises. And very often biopsies are taken at the junction of the esophagus and the stomach to confirm the presence of Barrett's esophagus.